Okay, Wildcats. <clears throat> Today we're looking at Wednesday, October 31st, dividing polynomials with synthetic division on page 24. If you would, update your table of contents. All right, now your table of contents are updated. Let's take a look at our notes. All right, dividing polynomials with synthetic division on page 24. Synthetic division methods. So you divide. Now we're going to use an example of 2x squared plus 7x plus 9 divided by x plus 2. Step one, write the coefficients of the dividend 2, 7, and 9 in the upper left corner. Write the value of a for the divisor x minus a. So a equals negative 2. Copy the coefficient in the dividend below the horizontal bar. Step two, multiply the first coefficient by the divisor and write the product under the next coefficient, add the numbers in the new column. Repeat step two. Until additions have been completed in all columns, draw a box around the last sum. Step three, the quotient is represented by the number below the horizontal bar. The box number is the remainder. The others are the coefficients of the polynomials quotient in order of decreasing degree. All right, now, if you didn't understand so much of the example in the notes, don't worry, we're gonna go through several examples together. Okay, so if you would, finish up your notes. All right, now your notes are finished up. Let's take a look at the examples. And again, that's going to be on page 24. Now, what I recommend doing is draw the synthetic division piece for each example first. So you can see I did that for example 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. Now, in essence, what you do to get this number right here, you take x plus 2, set it equal to 0, and solve. Okay, so we subtract 2 from both sides, so x equals negative 2. So that number goes right here. Then you take the coefficients here, put them here, so that's 1x squared plus 5x and 6. Now you bring down the 1, and we multiply. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And then we combine. So 5 minus 2 is 3. And then negative 2 plus 3 is negative 6. So your remainder equals 0. Now, this was 1x squared plus 5x plus 6. When you divide, the exponents decrease. Now, this was 1. So x squared decreases, so that becomes just x to the first power, plus 1 decreases to just x to the 0. But x to the 0 equals 1, so you really, in essence, don't need to write this. Okay. So now, in conclusion, we have 1x, we don't need to write to the first power, plus 3, plus 0 divided by x plus 2. Now, in essence, this is just 0, so we just have 1x plus 3. All right, let's take a look at example 2. All right, so first step, we said x plus 4 equal to 0. So solve for x, so subtract 4 from both sides. x equals negative 4. So that number goes right here. And then we take the coefficients after it gets unblurred. That's really blurry. Let's try to like brighten things up a little bit. Maybe adjust. There we go. All right, so we take the coefficient. So then that's 1x cubed plus 8x squared plus 21x plus 20. Looks like we need to extend this line just a little bit. All right. So we bring down the 1. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. 8 minus 4 is 4. 
negative 4 times 4 is negative 16. 21 minus 16 is negative 5. Negative 4 times negative 5 is a positive 20. So we have a remainder of 40. All right. Now this was 1x cubed plus 8x squared plus 21x plus 20. And when you divide the exponents decrease by 1, so this becomes 1x squared plus 4x minus 5. So your answer is 4, 1x squared plus 4x minus 5 plus 40 divided by x plus 4. All right, so finish up example two. All right, now let's take a look at example three. Okay, so we start by setting x minus four equal to zero. Add four to both sides. So then x equals four. So that number goes here. All right, so now we take the coefficient. So that's one x to the fourth minus three x cubed. Uh-oh, there's no x squared, so we have to incorporate 0x squared. You have to have every exponent, 4, 3, 2, 1, so on. Okay, so plus 0x squared minus 7x minus 14. Now let's extend this line. All right, so we bring down the 1. 4 times 1 is 4. Make a 3 plus 4 is 1. 4 times 1 is 4. 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Negative 7 plus 16 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. Negative 14 plus 36 is 22. So your remainder is 22. So this was 1x to the 4th minus 3x cubed plus 0x squared minus 7x minus 14. Divide the exponents decrease by 1, so that's 1x cubed plus 1x squared plus 4x plus 9. So we have 1x cubed plus 1x squared plus 4x plus 9 plus 22 divided by x minus 4. And I don't know why the page keeps getting cut off, but there you go. All right, let's take a look at the last example, example number four. All right, so first things first, we set x minus 2 equal to 0. So we add 2 to both sides. So x equals 2, and that's your number here. Now we take the coefficients. Now here, this needs to be rewritten because it needs to be the highest exponents first. So it's, we need to rewrite it as 3x cubed plus 4x squared. Uh oh, there's no x, so plus 0x plus 10 divided by x minus 2. So now the coefficients are 3. 4, 0, 10. All right, so bring down the 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 4 plus 6 is 10. 2 plus 10 is 20. 0 plus 20 is 20. 2 plus 20 is 40. 10 plus 40 is 50. Now this was 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus 0x plus 10. I almost forgot that's the remainder. So this is 3x squared plus 10x plus 20. So that equals 3x squared plus 10x plus 
20 plus 50 divided by x minus 2. All right, now you're probably wondering why I put the 50 divided by x minus 2. Well, let me work a basic division problem and show you why the math works that way, okay? So let's just go back to whatever, I don't know what grade you learned this, but let's do 4 divided by 5, okay? So 4 divided by 5 goes into 1 time. 1 times 4 is 4. We subtract. We get 1, so our remainder is 1. So when we say 4 divided by 5, or in other ways this way, 5 divided by 4 would it equal 1 plus 1 fourth. So we take the remainder divided by 4. And if you see, you'll get 1.25. Okay, so that's kind of the how that works. And so this 1 came from here, and this 4 from there okay all right so with that start working on the assignment and have a wonderful wildcat day